Hey guys, it's Shauna. I hope everybody's well. I'm not used to using all this equipment. I was just recording some podcast episodes and like I have this new mic and I have this little cute little Logitech camera. I just took my headphones off. Um, I hope that this records properly, but I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has been so kind and sent me messages in the past few weeks of encouragement and um, it reflections on what I'm doing with the podcast and with the little daily messages and um, just knowing that when you follow your heart's voice and you you step into what you came here to do, that actually there are people out there who not only care but receive it and it helps them. It's just such a beautiful co-creation because we're all here to inspire each other and we're all here to connect and touch each other's hearts and you can't do that if you're pretending to be somebody you're not or you are spending your life doing things that don't don't bring you any joy or happiness not um, knowing and embodying the gifts that you came here to give in this world and not just being and shining as your authentic self, right? So when I went first started on this journey, I mean, I've been, as we all have, right, on a conscious awakening journey for years, but I've always known that I wanted to do something about that, to share more love in this world. And so I was, you know, in real estate. And of course, I share love with my clients and with my team and my colleagues. I get so much beautiful love reflected back. But there's more in this world than that. There's more that I can do. There's more that can be done. There's more that was calling me forth to do. And it took me a while. It took me actually the last September, October, November, December, four months to when I was starting to talk to a few friends about this, like, okay, it is time. It's time for me to step into what I came here to do. It's time for me to to step away from real estate a little bit. And yes, I've been creating videos and I've been doing all these things, but I haven't really stepped into my aligned purpose. And it took me a while to wrap my head and heart around that, to really step into it and face whatever fears I might have, whatever doubts I might have, whatever little voices in my head that were saying, you can't do this, or this won't matter, or all the little doubts that we all have, and just choose to do it anyway. To just go for it. And I did. And I launched this beautiful podcast. And I have these little love notes that I've been sending out every day since December 1st. And these just came through me. They were when I finally said, okay, what wants to be done? I love how Gabby Bernstein says that. Gabriella Bernstein, she says, I remember hearing her at a TED Talk one time or on a stage. And she said, what I ask is, what wants to be done through me? Where would you have me go? I think was how she said it. Who would you have me speak to? What would you have me say? Whether she's asking her higher self or God or just her own heart and her own truth, whatever that might be, her inner self, that's what she was asking herself. And that really stuck with me. Um, And this is what I ask every day. How can I be more love in this world? What is needed from me? What is calling me forth? And what called me forth was the things that I am working on. The books that are being written, the courses that are being written to share love and self-love and connection and authenticity and all the things that I have learned. But the podcast is so beautiful. Not because I say it is, but because it feels that way to me. The conversations are amazing. And I've noticed that it, it took me away from making these little videos for you guys. And so today when I already had my camera on, I thought, oh, why don't I just make a video and say thank you and share with you the invitation that I always share with you, which is please know thyself. Please do your healing work. Please reach out to people that you love. Please connect with everybody in your life. Please know that you are worthy and you are amazing and know, get to know the gifts that you came here with because nobody can be you. Nobody can be you. Only you can do that. And we need you. We want you. We love you. The world needs your love. The world needs your heart, not your mind, not your thoughts, your heart. The world needs your heart. And I know this because now that I've put my heart out there, I'm getting the most beautiful, beautiful feedback. 
It makes me cry. It makes me sing. It makes me dance with joy to hear how my heart's truth put out there is actually helping people heal and feel more love and feel more connection. I could not ask for anything better. That gives me so much joy. Um, and so I wanted to read for you something that a beautiful friend sent to me in a group that I'm in, and I read it on today's little love note. So if you want a little hit and you haven't joined us yet on Telegram, I'll put the link below or above or however that shows, um, because it's so much fun. And, and I'll say too, that that acts as an anchor for me every day, no matter what's happening, because I committed to this, creating a little love note every day. It puts me in my heart. It anchors me back into my heart so that I can share that with you. It's so amazing when you make these commitments to doing what you came here to do. What opens up from that? I know I'm going to meet so many amazing people. I know opportunities are going to show up because I'm putting myself out there. I'm, I'm, putting, I'm allowing myself to be called forth. And, and whatever wants to be said through me will be said through me. And I love it so much. And I am so grateful. I'm so grateful. It's so cool. We are so blessed with so many little things every day. And this is one of them. This connection is very, very special and important and precious. So thank you. Here is this beautiful, it's not quite a poem. It's some words that, that someone shared with me. And it's, it articulates this invitation that I felt and answered and that I am sharing with you. It's called A Heresy for the 12th night of Christmas, January 5th. It was for last night when there was a full moon. And here is how it goes. You don't need to be a rosy new age angel in order to meditate. You don't need to sip liquefied kale, live in an ashram, or be politically correct in order to tap the infinite source. You don't need to be someone better, higher, purer. You don't even need to be someone else because there is no one else for you to be. Here's the heresy. The fundamental dis-ease crippling our culture is the toxic anxiety of striving to be someone better. It is the very effort to be more than we are that divides us from ourselves. Wake up and find the courage to be incomparable. Isn't that gorgeous? Woo! Call off the quest. The beginning and end of spiritual practice is to rest the mind in its own broken heart. Align with your jagged edges. Tune into the rough, unpolished, sparkling joy that haunts your numb places like a fungus, the frightening joy of your uniqueness. Stop believing in the cult of the collective. You are not defined by your gender, tribe, skin color, spiritual movement, or political party. You are absolutely you. You are a hologram containing every other creature in the mineral, vegetable, animal, and angelic kingdoms. Yet all is arranged as you for one brief turn of the kaleidoscope, one instant in the crystal pandemonium of the goddess, never to be equaled, never to return. The cosmic symphony would not resonate with the same harmony without you at the core of singularity your own piercing, perishing love note. This world doesn't need another Gandhi or Jesus or Guru. It needs you. Whatever enlightenment may be, it is more like falling than rising, more like collapsing than getting it all together. So fall into your own rhythm. This is perfect stillness. Collapse into the grace at the heart of your own chaos. This is perfect peace. I did not learn this from the gods. I learned it from the dogs. Isn't that amazing? I'm sorry that I shared it in two different places. Well, I'm not sorry. Why am I saying sorry on my own message? I just, I'm sharing it wherever I can because I think it is stunning. Thank you, Angela, for sharing this. The author's name is Fred Lamotte, M-O-T-T-E. And it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love it. The essence of that is so gorgeous. And um, so I hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, I'm just sending so much love to everybody and so much gratitude to start off this new year. May it surprise and delight you. May you have unexpected joy and love even more than you can even anticipate now. That's it. That's all I've got. That's all I've got for you. Thank you. Much love.